Okay, this is by far the biggest announcement about co-op. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Xena Star Galaxy. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today in our video, we are going to be covering off the update that was launched on Reddit from the developers of DHC about the upcoming update in August. So let's dive into it. I don't want this to be a super long video, but man, they announced some really exciting stuff today and I wanted to make sure that I got it out to you guys. I'm sure some of you guys have obviously read it, but let's dive into it and uh, let's get it started. So I'm gonna pull this over here and we're just gonna basically go through what was announced today. Uh, I'm super excited for this. This is the content that I think a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, in the background here, I'm just grinding for some violet shards because I'm still trying to get her to get my diva. Um, but let's see here. So, um, so there's an upcoming update for DHC. Greens Champions, the game has now been live for more than two months. It's time to step back and share where we're, uh, where we are and what we have in mind for the future. Okay, they've obviously released a lot over the last couple of weeks, but it doesn't stop there. So let's take a look at the first thing that's coming up. Uh, we have gigantic plans for the summer, July, August, and September are going to be game changers for DHC. Uh, first and foremost, stability, okay? A lot of us have this challenge where there's a lot of instability. Uh, and so really the global stability of the game has increased with the past updates, but we still have to improve it. Um, that's what they're going to be working on in the future. Obviously, that's one of the biggest areas of focus because if the game isn't stable, if the play modes aren't, aren't stable, it's going to be hard to basically retain your players. Okay, so lots of arena and 5v5 maintenance, which is exciting. Uh, we also struggled too much with the stability of windows. So true. I always found, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, in PvP and windows was really, really hard. It would always crash. Um, so I'm looking forward to having that be updated in the upcoming uh, update. Um, okay, here are some of the top bugs. We're working on improving AI behaviors with AOEs like the Dark Dryad, the Archangel, which is awesome. If you guys didn't catch their last announcement, pop over to their Discord, but they are making some changes uh, with the Archangels coming up. Fixing the bug related to the Water D with Catchy Tune, affecting the Elder Drake and Bull Demon King ad display so lots of those um updates on ai behaviors and all, all those hot fixes that need to essentially be put in place really exciting pvp game modes okay this is going to be really really awesome um, i'm just going to start this run okay so this is really really cool so pvp game modes <sighs> i'm so excited for this the point requirements for arenas as you guys know was so buggy and so frustrating. So they're going to resolve the situation. Uh, they're going to lower the point requirements for each tier of rewards. And now also your PVP energy is gonna be regenerated every 30 minutes instead of an hour. So now we're actually gonna have the ability to regenerate our, um, our energy faster and get more trophies, which is awesome because if you, know, you guys, especially the free to play players, waiting an entire hour to get one energy for the arena is crazy and you don't want to be spending your gens constantly re refreshing so to be able to basically do double what you used to be able to do is going to be a huge game changer for a lot of people 5v5 will also have improvements in the next update they're considering removing the trophy requirements for 5v5 rewards i think that's kind of smart um this has been as a, a lot of the suggestions or changes that are coming, I, I rather, are because of community suggestions. So as you guys know, my past videos, I've been encouraging you guys to get on, you know, the Discord or the Reddit forums and make sure that you're making your voice be heard to the developers. They are listening. They do want our feedback. And, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit toxic, but, um, you know, if you, if you approach it in the right way, they are listening. Uh, and I think this is really, really good to see that some of this stuff is coming to fruition on, on this update. Um, rare rewards are based, will be based only on rankings, and it's the first step for their improvement to 5v5s, which is awesome. Let's just restart this run. Uh, they're doing a balancing pass for both 5v5 and arena in the next update. Uh, looking for you, Water Diva. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have complained about Water Diva and 5v5, so I'm assuming this is, you know, 
some foreshadowing that she's gonna be uh, changed in the next update. So enjoy her ridiculous OP-ness while it lasts. Uh, update of frequency of, and events. So this is really, really important for us as a community. We are too slow. We're currently improving our pipeline to release new updates more frequently. We're both enhancing stability and adding new content. With each update, we increase the number of systems features to create new and fun events. As you may have seen, the magical, event, magical girl events, we now have new point system. You can expect more and more diversity in the upcoming weeks. So they're looking to create new events. That's why, I, you know, in a previous uh, video, we talked about events and what kind of events you guys want to see moving forward. They are listening, they're making changes, and they know that they need to get better at, you know, basically letting us know what's going on. So that's really, really awesome. Hopefully we'll get some type of like calendar in the future of events so we can plan accordingly, uh, which would be super cool to kind of have a sneak peek ahead of time so we can obviously be prepared. Okay, this is by far the biggest announcement about co-op, okay? So co-op is by far the big biggest announcement that they had. So with DCR, goal has always been to create hero collection RPG that has classical game pillars of the genre, plus a unique fun to play live action RPG gameplay, which is one of the reasons why I love this game so much. It's got that different aspect and why I love 5v5 and why I gra gravitated towards that gameplay because it was just so different to have that live interactive uh, portion of it. Targeted towards mid game to end game players, co-op raids will be an extremely challenging addition. It will require a good amount of strategical thinking and player skill. So essentially this is gonna require you to have trust and uh, companionship with other players because you're actually gonna have to organize daily and weekly runs with your guild mates, okay? So if you are <clears throat> if you don't have a communication system with your guild already, get it in place now. They're basically giving us a sneak peek of what's coming up. So you gotta create some type of communication system where you guys can link up because we're gonna have to be able to fight together on this. So thanks. Um, you're you're ha gonna have to coordinate who brings what to the to the get um, to the battles So you really have to have camaraderie and teamwork. So it's gonna be super important You'll decide who brings uh, a block heal or lower attack debuff for example You're as a team gonna decide who plays what and who who really is dedicated to what role there's no auto mode, it's all live, so skills matter more than ever. Your team will need to rely on each other. AF King will result in a lost battle and no reward. Okay, so we have to have solid partnerships with the people that we're playing with, which I think is awesome. I think this is such a unique style of gameplay for, for a mobile game. I think this is really, really cool. Uh, progressing through these difficult levels will not be easy, so these are going to be challenging, so don't be one of those people that's like, oh my god, I didn't get through it on the first time I tried it, right? These are meant to challenge us and make us think and str strategize. Uh, epic difficulty requires three players with an option for adding bots. Legendary requires four players, and Nightmare requires five players. So there's going to be different levels of def difficulty, including Nightmare difficulty. And I'm terrified of what that's going to look like, but I'm also excited to have a new challenge. Um, each player brings one champion to the battle, but keep in mind that after victory, your champion will be exhausted and will not be able to join battle again for the current day. Right? So you're going to have to basically strategize not only your current gameplay but your future gameplay on that specific day and really utilize your units to your best ability and make sure that you use the right ones at the right time it's gonna be super crazy i'm really pumped for this um also co-op raids will reward three new types of gear sets soon to re be revealed chaos shards that allow you to reroll secondary stats of a piece of gear and outfit tokens this is so exciting so there's not only this new type of battling system but there's going to be new types of gear as well as new rewards to be released so that's super cool and outfit tokens oh my gosh i can't i can't wait to see what that's going to look like uh chaos shards cannot be bought in the shop or found anywhere else in the game so this is going to be a crucial crucial part of gameplay advancement in the future it's going to really separate players by their skill set so that's going to be really exciting to see and um last but not least the co-op boss will have a different version every week each week 
Uh, there will be a new combination of elemental variations, skill sets, and mechanisms. Minions summoned for a challenge that is always fresh. So, literally, they're just telling us, start warming up your theory crafting. You'll need it on a weekly basis now. So, every week, we're basically going to have to sit down and just figure out, which I think this is really cool, because now you get to sit down with your guild and actually strategize how to take this on. Uh, Co-op boss is coming in the next update. And then last, but not least, outfits are coming to Dungeon Hunter Champions. Your champions are beautiful, but you want to stand out from the crowd. Outfits are here for you. Each outfit changes the visual appearance of the champion and once upgraded will grant a small stat boost. This is so cool. So not only are you going to have a better looking champion that's kind of customized to what you like, but now you're also going to have a stat boost from this outfit. So this is really cool. Outfits are fully accessible for both paying and non-paying users and can be farmed in live cooperates and 5v5. All champions have access to an upgradable classic shiny outfit. Uh, so there is no unfair advantages for the champions that are still waiting for a unique new look. So that's really exciting. So really everyone can take advantage of the outfits. Once unlocked, an outfit needs to be leveled up. That's really, you know, wouldn't really expect much less. Um, and you need outfit tokens to do that. This new reward will be found in 5v5 and co-op game mode. So you guys are going to really have to take, you know, the people that have been like, yeah, I'll play 5v5, like when it comes and, and it's, and it's perfect. Uh, just get in there now while it's not perfect, figure it out, start playing it and start getting used to it because you're going to want to play a lot of that, uh, in the future when the outfit tokens are released. Um, then there will also be extra, uh, quantities available each day for completing bonus daily. So there's going to be like a separate set of uh, bonus daily rewards. I guess that's going to include that. So that's great. We'll release several new outfits for some champions in the next update with more to come. As we roll them out on a more regular basis, your champions have never looked so stunning. Okay, so that's it for this update, guys. I just really wanted to get this out to you. What do you guys think? Leave some comments in the comment section below on what you're most excited about for this update. Uh, but also, you know, what do you think of it? Like what, what are your theories on the upcoming co-op mode that's going to be released? And um, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to get back to grinding for my violet shards because Lord knows I need them. <laughs> Anyways, as always, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section why or what I can improve on for future videos. And as always, make sure you check out uh, my Twitch channel. I stream four to five days a week live on Twitch and it's super fun. We always, you know, we're playing Dungeon Hunter Champions and, you know, I'm try <laughs> trying to figure things out. And um, yeah, as always, guys, spread love, not hate. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.